old ram for gold reclaiming. There are many kinds today. I will open the package of ram. You see the gold wire inside the ICE chip. Gold wires are commonly used in the construction of random access memory, RAM, integrated circuit, IC, chips, particularly in dynamic random access memory, DROM, and static random access memory, SRAM, chips. In RAM IC chips, gold wires play a crucial role in establishing electrical connections between the semiconductor die, the silicon chip containing the memory cells and circuitry, and the package leads or substrate. These electrical connections are essential for transferring data and control signals to and from the memory chip. While the use of gold wires increases the manufacturing cost of RAM chips, their superior properties make them a preferred choice, particularly for high performance, high reliability, and mission-critical applications, such as server memory, military and aerospace systems, and other demanding environments. It's worth noting that, in some cases, alternative materials like copper or aluminum may be used for cost-saving purposes in less demanding applications, but gold remains the material of choice for high-end RAM IC chips. Extracting gold from RAM, random access memory, chips is possible. RAM chips contain small amounts of gold and other precious metals, such as silver, platinum, and palladium, which are used in the manufacturing process due to their excellent conductive properties. While it is technically possible to extract gold from RAM, the process can be expensive, labor-intensive, and environmentally hazardous due to the use of harsh chemicals. Additionally, the amount of gold present in individual RAM chips is relatively small, often only a few milligrams or less. However, recycling RAM chips and other electronic waste can be valuable for recovering multiple precious metals simultaneously as well as reducing the environmental impact of electronic waste disposal. Sulfuric acid 98% Boil for 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. Single inline memory module SIMM RAM. 72 pin is a memory module developed by Wang Laboratories in 1983. The SIMM RAM circuit board that holds 6 to 9 memory chips per board. The ninth chip usually an error checking chip, parity or non-parity. The SIMM RAM was used with computers using a 486 early Intel Pentium and compatible processors. Die chip and gold wire. Gold wire fallout. Some of the chemistry, open packages. Die chip and gold wire.
SD RAM, 168 pin, SD RAM and also supports up to 133 MHz system bus cycling. Since 1993, this has been the prevalent type of memory used in computers around the world. Die chip and gold wire. Gold wire fallout, some of the chemistry, open packages. Die chip and gold wire. DDR2 was introduced in the second quarter of 2003. Die chip and gold wire. Die chip and gold wire. Some people have different opinions on the reasons for using gold in the manufacture of IC chips. Yes, there are some disadvantages of using gold in computer chips. Gold is an expensive material, which makes it difficult for computer chips to be mass produced. Additionally, gold is a soft material, and it can be easily damaged or corroded, which can lead to decreased performance over time. Oxidation, gold is generally resistant to corrosion, but it can still oxidize under certain conditions, which can affect the performance of the chip over time. Thermal conductivity gold is not as thermally conductive as some other metals, such as copper. This can cause heat buildup in the chip, which can lead to reliability issues and even damage the chip over time. Bonding issues, gold bonding wires can be difficult to work with and can break or become detached during the manufacturing process, leading to defects in the chip. Complexity using gold in computer chips can make the manufacturing process more complex, requiring additional steps and specialized equipment, which can increase production costs. Accessibility gold is not always accessible or easily reparable. In cases where chips need to be serviced or repaired, using gold can make the process more difficult and expensive. It's worth noting that some of these potential disadvantages may be mitigated through proper design and manufacturing techniques. Additionally, gold is still used in certain specialized applications where its unique properties may be advantageous, despite the potential drawbacks. Maybe in the future gold may not be needed in production if better and cheaper materials are available. Hope you like our compilation, please share it and subscribe. Watch also our other videos. Thank you very much.